So that was a bit of a long derivation. Let me recap the take home message for you. Why don't we have very short secondary structure elements in proteins? Because if you look at free energy, virtually all of them look like that. You're first paying to go uphill, the helix initiation barrier, right? Then you start going downhill, but it's not until you get to a certain length that the net delta G value is going to be smaller than zero. It's only when you get to this length, it's going to be advantageous to form an alpha helix, minimum length. Why are alpha helices not infinitely long? Well, if I gave you sequence that for some reason would be an alpha helix, then that would be stable as an alpha helix. It is just that the possibility of that occurring in nature is not zero, but very, very small. Try to pick 1000 residues and never ever by mistake picking the half of the residues that prefer to not be a helix. Well, that's like tossing a coin 1000 times and never getting tails. Not impossible, but exceptionally unlikely.